Special coverage tonight. There's a new crop hitting Montana's farms. It's called industrial hemp. I spent part of the day yesterday out on the farm with the man who helped bring the seed to Big Sky Country. And while the plant is finally close to harvest, farmers I spoke with say it wasn't an easy process. It has taken 17 years to finally get our first crop in the ground. In 2001, industrial hemp became legal to grow in Montana, and considering it's one of the fastest growing crops around, it's amazing how long it took to actually be planted in Montana soil. You know, we have about 600 miles that we share with our Canadian neighbors, and they're making good money on their industrial hemp, whereas Montana is making not one penny. The new industry is thanks to this guy, Chris Christians, who, although it's been 17 years, continues to lobby for Montana farmers. As a matter of fact, he's so busy, the only time I could Will get do. an interview Take with care. him was on the road. See you in a bit. Oh, Chris, he said, this, is, this bill goes way too far. He said, you'll never get this passed. But Senate Bill 261 did pass with zero amendments, and Chris says the possibilities for industrial hemp uses are almost endless. Bedding plant, road building, bridge decks, all cosmetics, and great stains and paint. And that list goes on. So why did it take Montana so long to get in the game? Chris says it's misconceptions over its cannabinoid status. According to the North American Industrial Hemp Council, industrial hemp has a THC content of between 0.05 and 1%. So you could smoke a truck load and get sick before you ever got any feeling of, of marijuana from it. Chad Doheny is a pulse crop farmer just north of Dutton, and he went so far as to get the license to grow industrial hemp, but decided at the last minute the risks were too great. There's just not enough info or, or uh, consistency in what people say about it yet. I talked to insurance companies that weren't certain if they wanted to insure you at all if you had hemp. It seems like a real easy way to lose your farm. But now, 10 different farmers in Montana are growing hemp, and so far, they report the crop is looking incredible. Chris isn't surprised and is already looking towards the future. Uh, we need to be thinking about other uses of diverse crops that can allow these small towns and the people who live in those communities to survive. Reporting in Dutton, I'm Taylor Chase. Now, harvesting season for Montana's hemp crop will be any day now. In Canada, they tend to harvest their hemp in late September, and Chris says we usually run about a month or two ahead of them.